I'm trying to get the platinum trophy in every superhero game I can get my hands on. I've already been able to platinum quite a few. And now my attention has turned to the critical flop, Gotham Knights. Is it as bad as everyone says? Well, no, it's actually a pretty good game. The Platinum Trophy, however, a little bit of a different story. So as you can imagine, the game is about how the Bat family survive without bats. And we start with an incredible Batman fight cutscene. Now, I am going to keep this video as spoiler-free regarding the main story as possible. It isn't the best story you've ever read or experienced, but it's still a story worth experiencing. So once you get into the game, you have to choose between Nightwing, Robin, Red Hood, and Batgirl. But you can change them at any time using the Belfry, which is the base of the game. Your boy chose Nightwing because he's my favourite DC character, but I did get a good feel with each of the characters throughout this playthrough. So how do we get the Platinum in Gotham Knights? Firstly, beat the main story and the three side stories. Yeah, there's only three. Earn all the kill base trophies, fully upgrade one of the Bat Family characters, reach level 40, which requires a part playthrough on New Game Plus, and finally beat 250 crimes throughout the story. The crimes and collectibles do carry over between your first playthrough and your New Game Plus, which is a nice touch. There's also DLC, which will take you about 15 hours, but we ain't here to talk about that in this video. All right, so when you jump into the game, the first thing you notice is that it's goddamn clunky, especially the movement. If you're watching this, I'm dead. I what the fuck was that? Then you notice that the bat cycle is also pretty poop. And you, for some reason, it seems to drive around at about 30 miles per hour. Not a great start for the game so far. But thankfully, I got my first trophy for buying my first upgrade. Now, this game is meant to be played in co-op. Only two player. And I can think of no better man than a man who knows more about DC than I know about depression. The big daddy of DC himself, ZXL. Also known as Zack or Zachary on a Sunday. What the fuck? Oh, I haven't got PS Plus, have I? For fuck's sake. Hell yeah! Crime over there. Cool, I'll follow you. What's there, bro? Woo! Ah, that wasn't clever. Oh, I jumped straight down. Let me get, I'll get this woman, you fight. I'll get, I'll save her. Because I'm a fucking hero. Oh, someone's about here with a bomb, though. Oh! She's on, she's on fire. Oh, she's, not, she's immune to fire, it's fine. Oh, I got a trophy. Knighthood. Reach Nighthood with Batman, Robin, and Nightwing. What? That was fucking easy. I've unlocked the flying trapeze. <gasps> I'm gliding like a fucking Fortnite pro. Oh, you can just Where jump forever. You? I can see you. Look at your endless amount of jumping. Oh, this is so much better now. Whee! Oh, this is shit. <laughs> Mine doesn't last two fucking seconds. Oh, no. Oh, you can go up. Oh, whoa. So I can go for I can go forever and go down and press up and just like scoop it up. Oh my god. Now this, this is part of core. Zach, you're not supposed to go that way, you fucking idiot. <laughs> where, where are you? You meant to sneak around. How have you even got there? You're not supposed to be able to get there. Because I jumped in. You're not supposed to. You need to come back out, get in the car, get in that truck and jump out. Oh, Don't no. fight the coppers, they're still... good guys. Oh, they they are coppers, are they? I yeah. thought I didn't know. I thought they were just they started shooting at me, so... Yeah, because you're not supposed to be in the fucking prison. Right, come back. Down the stairs. And you don't want to kill them. Just a little bit. No, they're, they're the good guys. Well... I mean, you don't they, know that. They got them cops. I was going to leave out like, that. They're all the fucking cops. bent on there. That was good stealthing. Oh, we did well. No one died. Let's fucking go, boy. Let's fucking go. Again, she's the least attractive Harley I've seen in years. Still would though. Although she's got a choker on, so she likes anal. <laughs> That's how it works. Is that, is that, is that like the, the secret that sign? That used to be the thing in the noughties, weren't it? If they were wearing a choker to the club, they were up for anal. We did it. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. It was very funny. Hilarious. After saying Godspeed Batman to Zack, it was time for a little bit of solo trophy grinding. You get a trophy for beating each of the chapters, and there's only eight. So after listening to the gang chat, I'm pretty sure Dick Grayson can't read. I leave power! Good. Thank you. I got my next trophy for beating chapter one, Loose Ends. And then my next trophy for just playing as each of the Bat Farm members. Nightwing, Batgirl, Red Hood and Robin are working hard to keep Gotham safe. But who is keeping your data safe? Atlas VPN could be the hero you deserve. In today's age, VPNs are a must for so many reasons. On a basic level, subscription services like Netflix often have TV shows locked to certain regions. And especially in the UK, we really suffer from this. Atlas VPN allows you to access all these shows at just a click of a button, but it also serves a more important purpose. So I bought a house this year and being part of a house owner means you have to buy things for said house. So I remember I was just, you know, casually 
looking on a furniture website to acquire an overpriced sofa for downstairs. I didn't sign up to anything. And then a day later, I got a letter in the post from a different furniture store saying my name, my home address, saying, oh, we've heard you've recently moved and you should check out our sales. And I was like, hold on. How does anybody know that I've moved to this house and I am looking for a sofa? And it means because I wasn't using a VPN, when I accessed that website or another company has accessed my data and realized what I was searching for, they then sold my data to an opposing furniture store so they could try and beat the website I was actually on to buying furniture. And I think that absolutely blows my mind that what I look at can be stolen and then used against me to try and make me buy something. And that's why VPNs are so important because they protect your privacy and they protect your data. They stop companies illegally taking your data and selling it to someone else for their monetary gain. And thankfully I've been using Atlas VPN and I can say that has not happened. Not only does it keep your data safe, it also protects your computer from malware, stop things being downloaded onto your computer without your consent or without you knowing. And as someone who maybe plays video games on a computer or runs a business like myself on a computer, it's very important. If my computer got hacked, I would literally cry. <laughs> it only takes the one subscription and you can use it on unlimited devices. And I think that's why 6 million people have already chose to purchase Atlas VPN. They're currently running a summer deal on Atlas Premium for just $1.83 a month, which includes three months free and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can check this deal out by clicking the link down below. So then me and Zach were back together to try and track down and solve Batman's final case. And as it turns out, having two people with ADHD trying to solve puzzles in the game isn't actually any better than just having one. If anything, we just distract each other even more. Everyone moans about the animated movies, like, oh, they're not, they're like, they're not 100%, they're not, I mean, they're fucking better than anything else you get. They're literally the best thing, they're the best thing, the best superhero things I've done, other than My Hero Academia. I can't figure out where we're oh. supposed to go, oh. like, what we're supposed to be flicking. I saw a light that I thought was it earlier. It just ends right here, in this wall. You can't press that, can you? No, but it goes up there. Ah. Oh. I had it then. Right, so yeah, it's, we've yeah. activated we've activated the yellow one. Yeah. So we want to go follow. But it just this ends. Thing. Like what the fuck? But the puzzles weren't actually the hardest part of this mission. Oh, oh. We were dumped into the death version of Takeshi's castle, and we really showed off our gaming prowess here. Good help. Sick roll. Sick flip. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm dead. Oh, I got gassed. Um. Oh no, it happened to me again! <laughs> you just did what I did! Right. God, that son of a gun. Can I revive you? Nah, just, no. just press on. Survive! Survive! I made it! Yeah! Oh shit. Did I make it? What the? Oh. Are you like at the end of the first bit? Um, yes! So Made it. After surviving the death trap, we were rewarded with a trophy. So, oh, trophy. Oh, Ooh, hello. Undead Talon, final. It's a ma what the? A zombie. Nice flip night wing. Thing was like, come on then, you fucking little bitch. Get it, Zach. Get it while it's on the ground. It won't, it wouldn't do anything. Oh, fuck, it's barren me. Jeremy said this game might be getting hard. I've got to fight more than one of them. Oh, fucked. After struggling against just one of these zombie talons, Yes, it was only one, and you fight more than one many times later on in the game. We were rewarded by, you guessed it, another story-related trophy. Oh, yeah, boy. Ooh, trophy. Lock and key, motherfucker. Lock and key. Although the story is short, it does a good job at introducing enemies into the game consistently, which meant me and Zach were up against our first group of ninjas, which are a little bit confusing the first time you face them. How the fuck are we going to beat this guy? You... We're supposed to use damage over time abilities, whatever the fuck that means. Ah! Woo! Well, we almost got pinged there, didn't we? That was intense. Oh, there's more of them now. Uh-oh. God damn! This guy, they can take a pound and can't they? That was... That was intense and there's more of them! Oh. oh shit. I should quickly add in here that the combat can appear quite clunky at times. But as you progress it gets a lot better. And in co-op you can create some really cool moments. Just like this moment with me and Zach facing off against one of the bigger enemies. As you can expect we then earned a few more trophies. Let's fucking go. Oh. Trophy. 
So there's a variety of different challenges in this game that span from defeating so many types of certain enemies, creating certain rarities of equipment, and beating Bat Family specific challenges. The next trophy was for completing 50 challenges. You really don't have to worry about this when you're playing through the game, it comes so naturally to you. Um, there's also obstacle courses scattered around the open map. Uh, there's only a few of them and they are so, so easy. And once you finish them all, you get a trophy. Oh, cool. I found all Bruce Wayne's hidden recordings. Now, I was not expecting that to be so few. There must only be about 10 of them to do. They're really easy, but another trophy. Knighthood abilities are the fourth skill tree in the game, which are unlocked after completing certain specific challenges for each of the Bat Family characters. They have to be unlocked individually, but when you do, they provide very powerful boosts to the gameplay, as well as the additional parkour ability. Like I said earlier, the combat does feel a bit basic to start with, but each character does play very differently with so many different skills. I do think Batgirl's probably the best to use in terms of damage output, but when you max out all the Knighthood abilities for one character, you get another trophy. Now there's two or three trophies tied to each side mission which consists of two or three subplots based around a Batman villain. Harley Quinn, Mr. Freeze and Clayface and that is literally it, only three of them. So a few trophies were earned for putting Harley back in Blackgate prison. Then it was time for me to face off against Mr. Freeze for the second time. Can't lie, Mr. Freeze fights are probably the weakest in the game. Where's Icy Balls? Oh, he's in a big icy, icy mech? That's just what you want in a boss fight is for the, the boss to be in a mech, a spider mech. How could he have built that in Blackgate Prison? Don't know, and we're not gonna find out. I love how the villains in Batman in this world have been beaten by Batman and Nightwing, etc. Countless amounts of times, and are still like, nothing can stop me now. And you're like, bro, come on. It's just a guy in a suit, he's got those special powers, he's gonna whoop your ass, and you've got fucking ice guns. Come on, we got this. Little, little, little shoots, little shootsies. 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 Oh, nailed it. Sue. So. Oh, alrighty. Sick, bruh. I actually might die. No, it's good. We're good. Just keep running. Oh, oh. Run, Nightwing. Run. Where's he gone? Oh, he's, he's moved. Better vantage point. We're fine. We're fine. We're, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're just going to jump over here. Oh, hey! Freeze, you suck, bruh. I'm gonna shoot you from here. From the safety of my vantage point. Yeah, yeah, you just... Oh, he's got... Oh, he's changed his mind. He's got some bad guys out. He's like, you need some help. Ah! We got you, bruh. We got him. That one's like, just so chill. Like, come on, right? It's over. This is over, bro. Come on. That one's like, nah. That's too much busy work for me. I, I, I let the purples do that. I've had my fun. I beat the shell of you, old man. Now I'm taking my leave and I'm going to get the fuck out of here. And I like your style. It's quite sad, really, isn't it, actually? For him. I kind of feel sorry for him. But I got a trophy called Cooldown, so I don't give that much of a fuck. It was worth it. I know when you think of Batman, you do think of stealth, but stealth really isn't an option in this game, with Robin being the only viable character because he has certain takedowns in stealth. But there is some small stealth activities scattered around the map, which involve sneaking into an area and replacing files to help hide Bruce Wayne's identity. And when you do five or six of them, there's not that many, you get another trophy. And then back to the story with Zack, I don't want to say who it was, but we ended up catching a big bad. And then Zack made a very valid point about the game so far. That was very anticlimactic again, though. It really was. It really... We, we, in the main story, we haven't even faced a boss yet. No. And we're on the chapter... We'll just be chapter six of, of eight. After this, we then involved in chasing Talia across Gotham, which actually was pretty fun, I can't lie. Oh, we're going to get Talia. She's on the run. Let's get her. I'm literally right next to her. How could she teleport? What the fuck? Oh, she's tired of go. She's on the other side of this crane. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, okay, I'm not. You ran into the crane. <laughs> I was, like, stuck on the wall. <laughs> so I'm going to get her. Actually, yeah, yeah, I don't know where she's gone, so... I've lost her again. Oh, fuck me. She's... Oh, oh. No, I've lost her. There she is. Oh, she's up there. She loves these cranes. Oh, we've got enemy. Ah, oh. All right. Here we go. All right, big boys, fighting time. Hello. Ooh, that's a different one, isn't it? Yeah. New enemies. Get over here, get over here. 
what they should have done for this game is they should have made the game all co-op, right? But, like, even when you play in single player, you've always got another one with you for the cutscenes and stuff. Yeah. Have AI do it. Yeah, but the point couldn't be asked to do it. There we go. I promise I will fight for you until my final breath. You soup, motherfucker. We did it. We did it. We did it. Press X to skip, Zach. I can't skip. Your host, the one like me. Oh, no. We're going to have to sit here and watch the credits no. for three hours. Gotham Knight. Gotham Knight. So, Zach, good game? I think it's a good game. I've had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I think it's ridiculously overhated. I concur. And um, there's there's the boys. Look, here's the boys with our new suits. Looking cool. Looking badass. So with the story over, I chose to skip over the end to avoid any spoilers for those who actually want to play the game. There was still a lot of trophies to earn. A fair few of them were for just defeating all enemy types, which can actually be cleaned up in the new game, plus on the heroic assault mode if you want to work on a few trophies at once. Quick warning, make sure you do the man bat trophy before you start your new game, plus otherwise you have to replay the whole game again and unlock this like I did. Alright, so I'm working on unlocking the final momentum ability, and what I have to do is I have to defeat five enemies using Nightwing's nest ability, which is where you jump down and hit the batman the floor and it makes a web a nest if you will but the problem is that it doesn't do any damage so i have to get people down to really low health and then just kind of hover around so that's what i'm doing right now i've got three enemies down and i'm just kind of waiting for it to recharge to see if i can use it and kill them but i don't think i'll even kill enough so i'm just kind of literally just like flipping about getting hurt because i need to recharge so it's the one on the bottom the little yellow one so i'm just going to be flipping about you know live my best life do some acrobatics and then when it's charged, I'm going to then do it and hit them all. But until then, I'm going to keep doing this. Whoa! All right, they're all really close. This should kill them all, right? Aha! Oh, I got your trophy. Shock till they drop. Defeat 45 regulators. Nice. All right, that, I'll take that. So the challenge, I still haven't done it. I've got to defeat one more with it. Okay, so I guess I'll go with this crime and uh, hope for the best. Damn it! Right, this might kill you, I hope. Because I get the momentum ability. Yeah! Did it! Unlock all momentum abilities for Batgirl, Robin, and Nightwork. Oh, I still go, but we'll take out this guy quickly. So it's a little, little blast blast. But it does also mean that I can do the last training level. So you don't unlock the last training mission until you do all the momentum abilities. So I'm now going to do go over the back to the Belfry. And then it's time to start New Game Plus after this last training level. Again. Apparently it's not scaring you. Again. I don't know how this is scaring anybody. Why is no one getting scared of me? Okay, that worked, apparently. And there's a trophy. All the train neck sizes. No, I don't want to do it again. Okay, the collectibles. There is 154 collectibles in this game. Look, I don't have to tell you that is way too many collectibles. 40 of them for just finding landmarks, another 42 are for finding signs on walls. It's just ridiculous. That's what I, was after. I think maybe 50 to 60 collectibles would have been more acceptable and more manageable for a game of this size. It did only take me four hours to get all the collectibles, which isn't too bad, but when you consider the actual main story is only five to seven hours long, you're spending half the time doing the collectibles as you did actually playing the game. Clearly are. it's just too much. But I did it and it was over and it wasn't too bad. All right, please be the last goddamn race. I really should have kept track of the ones I was doing, but... So... After that, it was time to finish off the race trophies. There's a few races scattered around. Just try and keep track of them, because I didn't either, and I had no idea when I was actually going to be at the last race. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. Not good. No! Okay, we're still going. There's the end! No! God damn it! Back we'll fucking go. Caught! Ah! Right, just don't miss- I missed this one last time. We're fine. We're doing better. We're doing better. I think. I hope. Oh, turn! 
Turn, damn it. Right, get some speed on the go. Speed. Turn. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Yes, right. Wheelie. Up the stair. Oh. Wheelie. Yes. Tracy. Tracy? Yeah, Tracy. <laughs> Trophy. Bow to hell. Donuts for the boys. Donuts for the boys. And the trophies. Right. Now I'm going to New Game Plus. Now after this, there was only two things left to do for me to get the Platinum in Gotham Knights. I had to stop 250 crimes. Now this does sound pretty bad, but they're scattered all over the city. And it's nowhere near as bad as the collectible grind. And you can get through a crime every minute or so, if you're fast enough. So this only took an extra hour of grinding and I had the trophy. So the final few trophies were for beating the Clayface side missions. And once I did this, I would get the trophy for beating all the side missions as well, and have the Platinum Trophy. Alright, we are on to our last level. The end of the game is nigh. The Platinum Trophy is in sight. All we've got to do after all that grind, all those 250 missions, is just is to beat Clayface. And I'm very over leveled for this. We end it in style with Nightwing. I played all four characters, mainly Nightwing. Alright, it's he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Oh, oh, okay. Good start. Good start. Oh my. It's alright. It's all good. Oh shit. It's alright, because I'm gonna do loads of damage to him. Look at that damage from my mad range. It's all good. Nest him. It's fine. Oh, he's gonna stand a chance, seriously. Oh, 46,000. That is already on the ropes. After what, 10 seconds? I think he runs now. He's on the run. But it's alright, because we've got this really cool motorbike, so it's fine. It's like Sonic Team racing all over again. Look at Nightwing and all his glory, man. Leap. That wasn't so gracious, but we're good. We're good. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Oh. Is he dead? Looks pretty fucked here. Yeah, his, his head cracked off. Oh, we'll put his head in prison. It's all good. I like how Nightwing just did a little cheeky Batman vibe there. You know, he vanished before anything could be done. Very Batman-esque. Following in the steps of his mentor. I love it. That's actually a really good way of ending the game for me, I think. So, <laughs> because I did this in New Game Plus, I should have got the trophy for beating the three optional bosses. But then I've just realised, it's just dawned on me now, that it has to be in one game. So I now have to go do the Harley Quinn... And the Mr. Freeze missions. Just to get the trophy again. Why did I do this to myself? Why didn't I just think about doing the clear face in the original story and getting the trophy? So I'm going to do these battles again. I am such a goddamn idiot. Okay, so after that two hour delay, after beating Mr. Freeze, I'm now up against the last level to defeat Harley Quinn. And I'm going to whoop her ass because I have delayed this platinum for myself Several times. Firstly, by having to replay the entire story to defeat the Man Bats, which was an extra five hours, and then now doing these side missions for the villains again. So this Platinum has taken me probably six hours longer than it should have, but we're going to end it now with Harley Quinn. And I'm going to wreck her because I have, I am so overpowered. She ain't going to know what the hell is going on. Look at that. See, he doesn't, want, see, he doesn't even know what's going on. Oh, she's there. Wait, that's not her. She's there. She's there. Take this bitch. Oh, missed. God damn it. Just going for a little cheeky little dodge. Perfect. Oh, that did a lot of damage, right? Oh. Uh-oh. It's fine. We got this. End thing with a little blast. Ah, right. She's done. She is done. I'm going to skip it because we don't care. End of an era. Finally. Let's just wait, wait. And there is my platinum. Air to the Cowl. This game has been pretty good. The Platinum has also been pretty good. It's a little repetitive at times, don't get me wrong. Like some of the crimes and stuff towards the end is a little bit much, but the grind hasn't been too bad other than those damn collectibles. So 
Gotham Knights took me 49 hours to get the Platinum. This game is not as bad as everybody said it was at all. Neither was the Platinum. I think people went in with really high hopes compared it to Arkham City, Arkham Knight, which it just isn't. It's a different game. If you compare it to Avengers, it blows it out of the park. But that's all for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch another one, why not check out my Green Lantern video or my Marvel vs. Capcom video. Now I'm going to go clean up the DLC for Gotham Knights. Special thanks to the sponsor of the video, Atlas VPN. Don't forget to check out their summer deal where you can grab Atlas VPN Premium for just $1.83 per month and get three months completely free. And of course, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. You can check it out by clicking the link down below. And also, thanks to my patrons. All right, peace.